Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. Have you ever walked into a shop, a retail store, a department store and bought maybe the latest pair of shoes, maybe the latest jumper, maybe the latest coat um, and you were so excited in the shop that you bought it uh, and you got home and you opened it and you unpackaged it and you check yourself out in the mirror and you think, why did I actually buy this product? I don't, I don't really need it. Why did I actually decide to part with my money for something that I didn't really need? A lot of times when you think back to it, it's a greed factor. It's the fact that in the moment you really wanted that product to enthuse you and that made you part with your money. So what I want to teach you guys today is a very, very, impo very important impulse factor called building greed. Building greed is the ability to enthuse your customer, enthuse your prospect to really, really want what you're selling so that they make the decision to buy. It increases your chance of closing the deal. And really, there's three key golden nuggets that you want to use to make your customer make the decision. The first one is use price to add value. So what I mean is this, if your product costs a thousand pounds, make it a thousand pounds and make that pricing really good value by saying all, all of the benefits that your product, that your service delivers for that thousand pounds. Really build the value of that price. The second thing is make it exclusive. People that like to feel special. Give them something in the deal which makes it seem exclusive. So for example, if you're pitching someone something and go, listen, just for you today, what we'll do is we'll give you X, Y, Z if you buy the products as well. Build the greed, make it seem a little bit exclusive. And the last thing is go the extra mile for your client. Go the extra mile for that pitch. For example, if you say to someone, I'll send you the email proposal and on the way home you're going past their office anyway, print that email proposal, walk into their office, Give it to them on their desk and go, listen, thank you very much. I really look forward to doing business with you. Here's your proposal. I've sent it to you in email as well. But go the extra mile for your clients. So to recap that, number one is build the value in your price. Number two is make it exclusive to your client. And number three is go the extra mile for the deal. Guys, my name is Michael. The company's MJB. When sales matter, we deliver.